Hello guys, my name is Biscuit and welcome back to my channel or if you're here for the very first time, welcome. Today we are going to react for the very first time to Temple of Dog and I'm reacting to this because recently I've done some Chris Cornell and I was told in the comments by you guys that apparently Eddie from Pearl Jam and Chris Mm, did this band called Temple of Dog. I really don't know the exact whole story. I would love if someone could just like type it down in the comment sections below for me. And apparently they made some songs and uh, I that I need to to I need to listen to. Everybody knows that I'm in love with Eddie. Like I love his voice a lot. And recently I have to say that Chris with Audio Slave made my heart do a double beating and uh, they they thought now is the perfect time to get introduced to Temple of Dog. So this is a little bit of a backstory of how I reached to react to this. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> we are reacting to Hunger, Hunger Strike. I guess you need to know what song I'm reacting to as well. So without further ado, we should just jump into it, react to it and get to know Temple of Dog. Oh, and by the way, if you like me to tell you from time to time how I reached the reaction and or how it came to me just let me know and i can definitely do a longer intros and if you don't i can just keep them the shorter version as well i just feel like i love talking to you a little bit more you know all right let's go <laughs> ice temple of the dog all right sorry Sorry. I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah. I don't mind stealing bread from the mouths of decadence. Fender. But I can't feed on the powerless when my cuts are.
this whole part one more time because the genius who put Eddie and Chris together deserves a freaking cookie. I don't know who was the genius. Pat Pat. Legit. I feel like their their synergies between their vocals is so beautiful. While Eddie has like this a uh, lot more like deeper tones to it. Chris just goes in there and he's just ravishing everything and it's so good. Um, I actually read a few comments that I did compare the little bit Audio Slave and Soundgarden. And someone told me that in Soundgarden apparently Chris had no one to do like harmonies with and he used to like layer his vocals. I mean Chris, there you go. Who better than Eddie? Oh my god, I love Eddie. I'm, I'm, I'm such a fan girling over him. Honestly, I love his voice. I love his face. I like how he's doing like with his mouth when he's doing like those close vocals and everything in. <sighs> I want to hear this part one more time. I'm just going to go one more time. <laughs> <laughs> they are the ying to the yang you know what i mean so freaking nice i would love to check other songs from from the band their band uh guys if you can leave me more suggestions in the comments give me more info like as you can say and and see i do read your comments and i do learn so much by reading them you guys have amazing information and facts and sometimes you just tell me like funny stuff that happened to them uh another thing i know that chris was super good friend with chester do they have any songs together for example i would definitely love to to check something like that out i feel like chris cornell has been in so many bands uh from what i read as well apparently audio slave is rage against the machine without a vocalist when did that happen did that happen before or after rage against the machine i'm trying to like make a chronologic timetable three in my head to understand how these bands moved and how they change and everything is very difficult though but this song is really amazing i love the message they're not going hungry because um of food guys they were just telling you they have food it's more about a, um, a social matter when people don't have anything and other that have everything keep taking the food from the people that barely have something so they basically refuse taking from the powerless and they're going on a hunger strike. It's a beautiful message it, with a beautiful vocals. With, like I said, I feel like they're to each other the ying of the yang. Speaking of Pearl Jam, speaking of Eddie, I would love to react to some more Pearl Jam songs. I've reacted to Jeremy and I've reacted to Black. So please let me know other songs that you guys think I will love. <sighs> I love this one. Thank you so much for being here, guys. It means a lot to me. I hope you have an amazing day. See you next time. See you on Twitch. I do stream live almost daily. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not by now. Check the Patreon as well if you wish. And yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.